What's up guys, Van Zeeben here with your next tutorial in Java 2D Game Dev. And uh, today what you see is we're going to be doing some scaling on uh, the entities and the stuff like that. What is going on here? Why aren't you rendering out? Run in debug mode. So, uh, what you see, this is what we got last episode and what we finished. We got this player rendered in. Uh, you'll see that I've removed the stone as well as that little font up here because we've already done that testing. We know how big this is, etc, etc. Um, so yeah. So we've done everything. We see this player walks around, and he walks around, and now he's centered. You'll see if I go up here, he's... Well, he's a little off-center, actually. We, we can fix that in a little bit. Um, I'll probably do that next episode, because he should actually be stopping about here. He shouldn't be going this far. So we'll fix that up next episode. Uh, for now, we're, we're just going to do some scaling, because that's what I planned. So, let's start off by going in the screen class here. You'll see that I've removed that utility function here. Uh, I did some pre-work and I just decided it wasn't needed so you could just remove that function if you guys still have it that just kind of added to a mere direction because we're going to be adding another variable here and this variable is going to be a scale variable okay so essentially how this algorithm is going to work is right now we, we're going for each we're going for eight pixels and then we're going to render we're going to render each pixel individually we're looping through them all but now when we're in each pixel so like this right here is rendering one pixel so we need to take this and we need to render however many pixels are supposed to be rendered like a, the scale so if the scale is is one we want to keep it like here if the scales two we want to render two pixels for every one pixel okay so it's easy enough uh, easier said than done actually so uh, first off let's start off by going here and we'll leave these met these two functions here and here for now but they're gonna get moved down um, we're gonna need a pixel variable so we're gonna say int y pixel and this is essentially just going to be this here. Okay, this value, y plus y. Uh, we'll remove the bar brackets because now we're putting it in a variable. And then we're going to need to add some things here. Okay, now this is where it starts to get complicated. We're going to need to add the y times a scale map variable, which we haven't created yet. Let's create that as well. Um, int scale, oops, scale map equals scale minus one. This is just a value to give us either like a, it's to give us one less than the actual thing. So, um, the scale map is zero this or if the scale map is one which is default this is going to be zero it's not going to get scaled at all so that, that's essentially what this is it's going to ignore this value if it's if it's that that's what we're doing that for uh, and then we're going to need to center it off so we're going to need to minus um let's go in here double brackets there uh the scale map oops uh shifted three because we're we want to multiply by eight because that's the size and divide by two okay so that's going to give us however, um, however, it's, it's going to center it for us, center the pixel in it for us. We're going to X this right here, we're going to control X this, sorry, and we're going to bring it down here, right above there for now. Uh, we're also going to do the same with this one, and paste it right below. Next we're going to need an X pixel here, which is the same thing as the Y pixel. Uh, it's going to be equal to X plus X post, uh, plus, and then the same kind of values here x times scale map and then minus double brackets scale map bit shifted left three uh, divided by two okay so there's those two values uh, next what we need to do is we need to come down here in the color because now we know what color here is where we know what color we need to populate the, that square with so right here is where we're gonna do the for loop and we're gonna ignore if it's 255 because again we don't need that so we're going to say for um, y scale uh, equals 0, y scale is less than the scale, y, s y scale plus plus, not plus equals, plus plus, there. Uh, next this is going to come up here, oops, there, got to define that variable. This is going to come up here and instead of y plus y posts, we're going to say y pixel plus y scale and it's kind of the same same perception as that except we have y pixel in a variable now and then we're gonna put that over here as well y pixel plus y scale okie dokie uh, next what we want to do is we want to have a, another for loop in here oops uh, this is gonna be the X so X scale is equal to 0 uh, X scale is less than scale X scale plus plus and we're going to copy and paste this x position up. Please guys remember because I've been getting a lot of lot a lot of comments about, "Oh, why isn't this working for me? Why isn't this working for me? What's going on here?" 
and 99% of them have all had to do with people not copying information correctly. So when you're copying things, make sure that you're copying things correctly. Like if we if we move this that thing here, don't go using X posts and X posts and then use a height if you copied the height one, like if you copied the Y one. Or, or don't go using a width with the Y because width and Y does not make sense and X and height does not make sense. That's not how this is built. If it was built that way, that'd be fine. But X is, is lengthwise. Like X is, is horizontal, I guess. So please verify that. There's my rant for the day. Um, in this X one, we need to change those values to X pixel plus X scale. And over here as well, X pixel plus X scale just to verify, verify that we're inside the thing. Uh, next, move that pixels value up, and I'm gonna get rid of those spaces. Uh, and in here, we're going to say um, pixels at uh, x pixel xel plus x scale, and then plus y pixel, put in brackets, uh, y pixel plus y scale, cannot type today there and that's equal to color so now it should be scaling it correctly now we just need to alter all these things that are broken so this one here it's gonna take a one actually we'll make a value for it I don't know if I have one yeah I did make one so this is when I was testing and I made this so just make this value up here uh, a global variable to this class called scale just set it to equal to one because we just want a default scale and then just add the scale here for all of these scale scale Scale, oops, scale, scale. Okie dokie. There's that. And we'll go into font, add scale to font. Go into tile, add scale to tile. That should be that. Oh no, there is no scale in tile. Just set it to one. We don't need to change the tile scale, and same with font. Set them to one. Uh, actually, for font, for font, we're going to take a scale. Yeah, let's take a scale because I want to know. I want to be able to set that on the fly, so we'll just add a scale there. And there's that. So if we run this, we should see exactly what we saw before. It should not have changed one bit. So we got our player, and he walks around. Great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the scale in player up to 2. Um, I could change it here, but what I'm going to do, because that wouldn't update it while it's running, so I'm going to go into the tick function here, and I'm going to go this.scale is equal to 2, just to set it on the fly. We'll remove this later. So now if I go to the launcher, you'll see that he's twice as big. And his center is still the center that we had before, right here about. So we'll, we will fix that, but it, ha it hasn't changed from 1. So you'll see if I leave this, and I leave my mouse. I can't leave my mouse. But you'll see if I leave it right here. Actually, let's find one of these. Yeah, these dots. These dots are centered on him, okay? So then we'll go scale to 1. And it's still just about centered, yeah. It's centered in 1 over, though. But that's, that's, that's relevant. It's because the pixels have moved up. We could also set this something unreasonable, like 10, and now he would be absolutely huge. And you'll notice that the, as I move around, if you see the grass in the background, you'll notice that the actual speed of him is not actually changing. You'll see that's actually the same. You just you cover more ground now. Uh, you're never going to need something like 10. This is more for learning purposes. We're not going to change his scale. Uh, this is just so you guys can understand how scaling things would work. But uh, that's how you do it. Also, it accounts for things such as going off the screen. So now our zero is well off the screen, but it's still going to render him out. And yeah. So let's just remove this now because we're not going to change that on the fly anymore. Uh, that's been this tutorial in Java 2D game development. Uh, next episode, we're going to be doing the uh, walking class, the walking animation, which we'll deal with here. And we're going to use the actual flip values for this now and change those around. Um, so there should be an annotation above if the episode's released. If the episode's not released, you won't be able to click it, but it should be released within a week. I'm trying to keep these on a Tuesday schedule. So, so yeah. I uh, also hope you're, in if you haven't checked them out yet, check out the other, um, episodes I got up. I got some stuff up on, uh, some Minecraft with Mons the Sexy, which is always fun. And we're starting up a Tekkit server, or a Tekkit series as well, because Tekkit's really fun. And, uh... We, we like doing that technological kind of stuff in Minecraft because it's really, really cool stuff. So feel free to check those out. Uh, like this video if, if you haven't already, if it helped you at all. And uh, I will see you guys next episode. Have a good day, guys.